guys, Crabs will be Crabs here, my first ever video. So, it's gonna be chanting about all carrying for hermit crabs and stuff. Um, first things first, 20 gallon tank. Um, I have three hermit crabs, two purple pinchers, one Ecuadorian. There's one of my purple pinchers, Gary J. J stands for Junior, because the old Gary, he passed, unfortunately. There's my Ecuadorian herb. I don't know why it's herb. But, and then, and here's my other purple pincher, Mr. Krabs, with a K. Um, for my substrate, I want more. They can bury themselves quite easily. I want more, though, and I will get more. I plan on putting it up to here. So, yeah, but for water, that is my salt water, mainly for my Ecuadorian. He's the only one that really needs salt. I did give them a bath last night. It wasn't salt water though. In the back, if you guys can see it, there's that. There's that's a fresh water bowl. I don't use tap water. I use wait, where is it? Um, distilled water. It's dechlorinated for my salt water, fresh water, and mist bottle. Um, for food. I use these fish flakes, hermit crab food, and I'll use these coconut treats for them. I, and I will also, th we grow lots of vegetables and fruits and stuff, and I'll give them all sorts of vegetables and stuff. Not cooked, they're raw, no seasonings or anything. This, that's some raw zucchini that we grew, and they like that. Uh, right there we have a calcium piece um but yeah for um what's it called but that's it for food for climbing toys we have that vine they love that as you can see one of my Gary J he is on it right now I have that long place in the back some sticks and stuff a cave they love that the log they really like hiding in that and climbing on it and eating the bark those plants and that oh, excuse me oh, excuse me sorry guys um but in the back i have a piece of driftwood and they like love climbing that they will climb up to the top and they will climb on this screen oh yeah but before you pan don't don't panic it is outside it's on a screened in porch but it's fun it's summer um, I also have the screen on this so no big bugs can get in, but it's summer, it's very hot and humid, and me and myself, I'm already starting to get kind of sweaty, it's really humid out, so the crabs love it. But in the winter, or not like in the winter, but in the fall, I'm going to move them back inside, and for the humidity, because it's going to be kind of harder in the winter, I'm going to saran wrap the top, um, and just spray it, and then saran wrap will hold the humidity in. Um, that's about it, guys. But, oh uh, yeah. I'm going to be going to Ocean City soon for vacation. So what I was going to do is, they have these big, tall wire cages and stuff crammed with hundreds of hermit crabs. No soil. And just like some fish flakes and a little bowl of water. It, it's just horrible conditions. It always makes me so sad to see them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this tank up. It used to hold Herb and Mr. Krabs. I used to have them in this. They were only in it for like a month. And then I got that 10 gallon tank back there. And they were in that for a while. And I got Herb. Well, no, then I got Gary and Clarence. Gary passed. Unfortunately, we got Gary J. And then, like a month after, Clarence passed. Unfortunately, but so far, since then, all the crabs have been doing well. Mr. Krabs, he's my one that's most recently molted, so that's pretty cool. Um, but back to the vacation tank. I'm gonna get one of the crabs. Um, fill it up the soil to like here about can't feel up very high but just about as high as it can pretty much 
I'm gonna take some sticks, microwave them so it kills the germs outside. Make sure there's no like fungus or anything on it, and make a little TP or a tent for the hermit crab to hide in, and then some sticks for him to climb on. And here I have an extra water bowl. I'll wash that out and use that too. Um, I'll make use a little food dish that I have and put two shells in there for him to change in natural shells so that way he can get out of his nasty painted shell I don't have very many shells I have like two per crab I know you want three per crab but I just just last night I ordered a 12 pack of medium natural shells for my hermit crab so I'm probably going to take just about all the um, non painted or all the painted shells out of the tank and I'll put two in here for my new crab so that way he, if he wants to get out his ass to paint shell he can and that's about it guys um leave any comments below if I should um do s if I if I should change anything if I need anything but yeah thanks for watching um Oh, and leave a, um, give me idea names for what I should name my new crab. I have one in mind, and in future videos, you guys will probably see them. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.